welcome to another Pretty Gritty adventure. Uh, so this morning we are going on another uh, hiking adventure, which is a slight change of plan. Um, we were due to go on a gravel bike ride this morning, but my car is um, in the garage and I've got to go back and pick it up. Ooh. Let's just turn that down. Yeah, so my car's in the garage and I've got to go and pick it up from York. Um, so we decided to uh, plot a little route for a wander around the beautiful city of York. And if you're wondering how this ties in in any way with Alphabet Adventures and the letter F, we've got a very loose connection to the letter F this morning, which is F for Forks, because Guy Forks um, is originally from the city of York. So let's see how good um, Katie's history knowledge is and let's get going. So we've arrived in York. Um, York is a little bit of a nightmare for parking so they try and encourage you to park outside of the city centre. Uh, we've parked today at MacArthur Glen so this could very easily have been a pretty gritty adventure. Shopping! Shopping! Running, shopping. Shopping. <laughs> it could but we're going to save our money and not do that and we're going to walk from here into the city centre. So we've just joined a footpath that runs alongside the River Ooze, oozing along there Katie. It looks a bit murky doesn't it? It's very murky. Brown. Brown and not at all appealing even if... You know how deep that is. No, and even if you were a wild dipper type that doesn't look inviting to me. It's a bit brown. No ducks in it. No, no. Right. I've given us total duff information in terms of <laughs> a footwear choice for this morning I said to Katie yeah it's kind of a city centre walk and to get there we have to go just along some proper solid footpaths there won't be any mud or grass um, yeah as you can see here is uh, mud and grass <laughs> okay we'll just have to wash our trainers later <laughs> you can wash mine oh okay <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> what, like a falling Honestly. over face? Yeah. Or a, yeah, no, an, an exasperated face. Yeah, like who told me to take my walking boots off first? <laughs> <laughs> so that is York Millennium Bridge there. And we have no reason to cross it because we're staying on this side for our route. But just for the purpose of enjoyment, we're going to go and have a, a little a little bounce on it. A little tooth over, yeah. Well, it gets busy down here, doesn't it, all the walks? We must be getting nearer the city. We've got ourselves a delicious, uh, cheeky little snack and a coffee and we're right in the city centre now of York. Um, York is full of lovely little cobbled streets and things like that. We, we're kind of right in the in the heart of the mall. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Gonna get run over. Gonna get run over. <laughs> this way. <laughs> no, we should that's why you should always wait for the green man. <laughs> So yeah, we're in the kind of modern, modern shopping bit here, but there are lots of little cobbledy old streets. What was the one that Esme said we should look at? Whitma Whatma Gate. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they're funny names. Which one's you and which one's me? That one's sticking its tongue out. Is that what you want to be that one? <laughs> Thank you. 
that what they're queuing for? A ghost tour. Can you not make one up, Katie, and give them one? <laughs> <laughs> So that is the Guy Fawkes Inn, which is uh, apparently where he was born. Right, bang opposite, yeah, bang opposite to uh, York Minster. That's a heck of a building, isn't it? It's a beauty. Oh, now St. Michael the Belfry. Did I say that that's where they were christened, I think? Oh, Baptised right. him and his sister. Okay. What does that little sign over there say? Let's have a look. And the headmaster, John Pilton, was secretly captured. They believed to have converted, not just to go There it is. Right. So, this pretty, pretty adventure is turning into a bit of a, it's a history lesson, Katie. Yeah. Learning all sorts about Guy Fawkes. <laughs> so York is the birthplace of um, Guy Fawkes. He was born in 1570, he was saying, yes. yeah. Um, and he wasn't Catholic, but his, um, his dad died when he was fairly young, and then his mum, her new partner, was Catholic, which I think is where his, the start of his belief in yeah. Catholicism was. Um, Long story short, because I'm sure you know the ending about the gunpowder plot, <laughs> but he, he was spent some time um, overseas. He was in the Spanish Catholic. Did I say Spanish Catholic Army? Yes. Yeah, Spanish Catholic Army. Well, he sold his house here. Mm -hmm. He inherited two houses, I think. Sold. Learned a load of stuff about basically ammunition and explosives and all that kind of thing whilst he was in the Spanish Army and then cooked up this um, this plan to do this gunpowder plot, which the, the aim of that, I think, was to kill the current um, king, James. King James, yeah, who, who was Protestant, and then the idea was that by finishing him off, they could then get a Catholic monarchy. So that was, that was the idea, so. So then they got, um, they spent, him and his pals spent about a year trying to dig a tunnel under the Houses of Parliament, but then that didn't work. Um, anyway, then they found a fella who could rent one of the cellars underneath the Houses of Parliament, which allowed them to then get in and put the explosive, the barrels. How many barrels do you reckon? Uh, <laughs> She's going to make a figure up now. <laughs> okay. Several barrels of explosives. <laughs> 135. <laughs> but then unfortunately, um, it all went a bit wrong and they got found out and that was the end of it. Never, never came off, did it? The gunpowder plot. <laughs> so, how many barrels of explosives did they put under there? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I was hundred and one out. Over exaggerating. <laughs> Fact is, though, they never went off. They didn't explode. Nobody got to light them. Yeah. And then eventually, he got caught, and he was hung, drawn, and quartered, which is very grim. You described earlier. Mm. That's not a pleasant thing. And they sent his remains to the four corners of the kingdom to act as a deterrent for anybody else that was thinking about trying to uh, blow up the Houses of Parliament. So no matter how you feel, don't, don't do that. No, it will only end badly. It will only end badly. There we go. walls, I should say.
it's not as wet as it was on the other side. Right, we're back. So hopefully you enjoyed that little trip around the centre of York and learning a little bit about Guy Fawkes. Clearly we are not in any way, <laughs> shape or form, history experts, but it was interesting, wasn't it, finding out a bit more about it? Well, considering I didn't even know he came from York, no. yes it is. So quite, quite an educational, we found his house. Yeah. educational so, day out. And I don't know, um, well, how many miles did we end up doing? Eight. Yeah. Eight miles, just over eight miles in total. Yeah, so if you're looking for a flat eight mile walk with a little bit of interest in the city centre, grab yourself a coffee, that kind of thing, possibly a bit of shopping at MacArthur Glen to yeah. finish off, we can highly recommend that route. Okay, thanks for watching. If you haven't hit subscribe already, then please do so, and we will see you again next time. Bye. See you later.